telling you, this thing is quick. It sounds great. sun right now we got a power stroke going by here on the side and check out this comments that i just found i love the sun 38 15 5 on 22 fuel inch rim zip tie here to hold down this plastic because it's so loose i gotta get a new one eventually but this is gonna do for now how about on the other side too well it's time finally time to get rid of this man i mean i had this forever and i filmed a lot of nice test drives and checking out different trucks at this suction just doesn't work and it's a waste of money goodbye what's up guys how's it going just fix the microphone there hopefully the exposure let's do it there we go so don't mind that guy over there we whack it or whatever he's doing i'm gonna have to close the door or something just uh bake off in the heat there we go so i just got this email and i wanted to go over with you guys because this was such a such a big issue that i was going through and now it's finally time at least that i'm actually getting the notification to actually move forward with this because i remember a while back it was definitely in the winter time sometime probably december january yeah probably december around there and i got a recall notice and that recall was for my dodge ram slt 4x4 2500 crew cab pickup truck and they they sent me an email well actually no i had to reach out i found the recall and then i signed up to actually get notified for when the recall was actually you know able to be fixed and now I finally actually got the email and it took them forever. It took them so long because think about it, that vehicle, that truck, the Cummins, a 2011, seven years to actually plan the recall and then get the fix for it and actually getting the fix for it. I mean, it's almost, to believe it or not, holy crap, it's almost been like another year. That's honestly ridiculous. That took them a year to actually get a fix for that. But I guess I kind of understand because uh, the email came in and I was like, holy crap, it's finally here and it just wasn't safe enough to drive without it. So let's look at this. It's, um, they call it a Ram, well, a Dodge Ram, which I thought it was like a separate company now, but this is, you know, this is FCA sending it, so customer care recall. Okay, 
Thank you for contacting the FCA U.S. Recall Information Center regarding safety recall T79. We appreciate your patience while waiting for a remedy to become available. It says your Dodge Ram SLT 4x4 2500 crew cab pickup requires an urgent brake transmission shift interlock repair, which that means on your column shifter, apparently you could be in, in park and you already left your truck. I mean, this is this is without the parking brake. You're already, you put it in park. Apparently, it can actually just shift out of park into reverse or neutral or whatever it does. Trucks start to roll. And I, apparently, there was cases with that already. My truck being one of the VINs that was, that qualified, I guess, for the repair. And, of course, having the recall. That's why it just was unsafe to drive because I'd always forget to do that. Schedule your free repair now by calling your Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, or Ram dealer. Recall notice issued to me. It says my VIN information, the truck. So this is definitely a real thing. Recall information, T79 NHTSA 17V821 brake transmission shift interlock. 